Hello everybody, my name is Hunter, and welcome to Mario Party Deluxe. Uh, I'm excited about this one. Um, finally got my capture card set up, and working properly. It took me a long time to get everything set up, but I finally got it. And, um, let turn this volume down just a bit. And, uh, I have some ideas for this. So, let me, let me get into this. Give me one second. Alright, so as you can see, I have nothing unlocked, nothing, um, no cups completed. So the idea for the series, and this might take me forever, but I'm going to beat everything and 100% complete this game. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, that's going to take a long time. And my answer to that is yes. So uh, get ready. So, um, for my setup here, I think I'm going to go with a bike. Actually, no, I'm more comfortable with a car. So I'm just going to go with the classic for now until I unlock more stuff. Um, none of that. What is this? What does this mean? Oh, no, I don't want gyro controls. Oh, no, no. Okay. So, um... I guess it's best to start at the beginning, right? This is 50cc. We're gonna go from... the beginning to the end. And this series is gonna take me forever. But, it's more content for you guys, so... Happy about it. So, here we go. I am using a Switch Pro Controller for this, um, because I really dislike playing this game with the Switch Controllers, the Joy-Cons, because they're just way too small and, I don't know, I just don't like the feeling quite as much as a nice controller that fits in your hands. And the Switch Controller is not too bad, honestly. Man, I must say, this feels so slow compared to what I'm used to playing on this game. Because I like 200cc and this is very not 200cc. Feels like this is just taking forever at this point. This double item here. And there's no way I don't three star the 50 cc's all oh, instantly. Right? Okay. And I actually do want to test something. Because if I can get all the stars for everything below 50 cc by just. Or, excuse me. That's convenient. If I can get all the stars from completing anything above 50cc, then I might just jump right to 200 and then do the mirror cup. Let's see how that works. Because racing to 50cc is going to be insufferable for everyone. And Bowser won't really lap in here. Maybe I'll be able to anyway. I gotta do it. No lapping for me. Oh! Come on. Lap Cooper. 
Oh boy. Before I continue, and if I have to redo this, I will. But um, I'm gonna go to my other account. So just give me, a, give me a second. All right, so now I'm on my other account. Let me just check to see if I have stars on all the lower ones. I do. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna help. As you can see, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good at this game. I've got almost everything. And I believe I did it all in 200cc. So... And that's what we're gonna do. Alright, I'm gonna switch back to my other account. Be right back again. Okay. Back to this now. So now that we've figured that out... We're gonna go 200cc. Metal Mario. And this might take me a little bit longer to finish each one of these, but in the end, uh, it'll be worth it. Let me put my controller in. Hopefully, I can charge this at the same time that I'm using it. Okay. Okay. That's good. Alright, here we go. I am very rusty. And look at how much faster this is. So much more enjoyable. And for those of you who don't know, if you've never played 200cc before or never played Mario Kart before, Mario Kart 8, you have to break around turns. But it gives it a better, better experience. It's a little bit more of a challenge for me. It's a little bit more exciting for you. I should hold on to that. Oh, there's something good here. I'll take it. I'm like, let's just cut the the time per race like in half. Boy, am I glad. Because this might have taken me months and months and months to complete otherwise. And now I just get to do a little series. Trying to unlock everything. Well, I guess beat everything. And the first race went as expected. I'm looking to do... Probably two cups per episode. So, what's that? How many cups are in this game? 24 now with the added DLC. So, you know. 12 episodes of this. Plus maybe I'll play online some, some other times. Just to show you that I'm not even that good, I'm just kind of average. Oh, that's gonna hurt my three star chances a little bit. This game is a lot more forgiving than the old Mario Karts. Like Mario Kart Wii was brutal. Goodness, that turns rough. Oof. Please give me something better. Oh, I'll be able to look at that. Mm, or maybe I won't be able to look at that because it won't let me. Look at this double item here. Give myself as much protection as I can. Good enough. That was a much better final turn there. Just have to start to drift really early. And look at how far ahead I am. This is 200cc. I'm just smoking everyone, so. 
Um, once we get to the DLC maps, it's gonna be a little tougher because I'm not familiar with some of them, and some of those are really tough. I remember struggling with some of them before on my other account because, as you could see, when I went over earlier, I didn't have everything done. I had everything from the original game. Without the DLC. And I just biffed on both of those item boxes. Kill me. Oh boy. And this game... Well, I guess every Mario Kart game that has stars for their cups has like a little algorithm to tell you to tell how well you did how many stars you get and for this game I believe coins are part of that gathering coins not crashing the walls not going off road um, obviously getting first I believe also how long you stayed in first matters. So keeping the lead for as long as you can is good. I also want to get hit by this red shell. No. Give me a coin. I got screwed there, but should be able to be a lack of two. Maybe not like that. Give me something here. I think this just a mushroom. Just got chomped. And I threw it. Oh, I think I hit him. I think I hit Lakitu there with that banana. I accidentally threw it. Alright. Three down, one to go for this one. And then. So far, this seems like a three. Three star performance for me. Feeling good. Just can't choke on this one. And the problem with these. Uh, with this challenge is as soon as you get to the last one, if you lose, if you don't get first, you, you lose it. So, you can spend all this time on the first three courses of a, of a cup and end up having to restart just because you got second on the last race. Brutal. But that is the beast of trying to get three stars on every cup. And that's not gonna help my case. That's still my course. Gotta stay on course, man. Oh my goodness. Ooh, banana. I believe there's someone right behind me. Okay. That does not help me at all. Okay. Thankfully, whoever that was, Lemmy or one of the Kooplings, hit that. That rock, so. Should get it here. Got 10 coins at the end. I'm way ahead of Lakitu. So that should be a 3 star. Barring a few mistakes there, that was pretty good. Stayed in first almost the whole cup. So let's see what we get. Not bad, not bad. And we unlock some stuff, so nothing important right now, I don't think. But we'll we'll take a look. Um That's not what I want. Am I able to 
turn this game down for myself? I don't think I am. Alright, that's alright. So now let's check. Oh boy. <laughs> I was so wrong. Well then. This might take me forever. Well then, um... I guess what better way to continue than to go back to where I was and start from the very beginning because I did not know that I actually completed all of these. Um, I'm gonna try something else. I'm actually gonna do some research before I continue. Okay, so uh, it actually does work for 150 CC, just not 200. I guess they consider 200 a completely different kind of race. So I guess we have to do it on 150 CC. So um, I'm going to complete this mushroom cup again. And I guess I'll just skip to the end of each race. If anything interesting happens, I'll jump in. But Alright, first race complete. Not even a challenge. No one was even close. The only thing I have to worry about is blue shells in these, to be honest with you, but not bad. I'm just trying to get this done so I can go to the next one. hit by a blue shell at the end there, but I'm still way ahead of everybody else, so not even close. Two more to go. Boy, is this going to be a grind. Alright, see you at the end of this race. getting dicey. Rose Gold Peach decided to show up. Make it a close race, but I got it. Wow. Last one. I've already seen this before, so I'm just gonna skip through this one and then I'll see you on the other side.
That was another one that was way too close at the end. I get shocked in that one twice. Three stars. Easy peasy. Unlocked another customization. And we're gonna roll right into whatever cup is next. Fire flower cup. Flower cup. I think that going this direction will also make it a little bit more exciting because some of the harder cups are on the right side of the screen. So we're gonna kinda get a a break from the boring stuff in between. Can I say, whoever was part of the musical development for this game did a fantastic job. They captured a great feeling in this game that makes it a much better experience. I mean, the tracks themselves are good. But the music just fits with them and makes it an even better experience. Can you imagine Mario Kart without the music? Like, that would be like... I don't know. It would be like eating pasta plain with no sauce. Or... I don't know. Just eating... Eating bread. It would be... I feel like there was something missing. And the scenery in these tracks is great too, you know? We've got so much going on in the background. And like the the graphical part of this game is just beautiful. And the the way that this track specifically tilts, and twists and turns, I forgot what I had there. I wasted that. The way this track specifically like twists makes it even uh, more interesting to look in the background and just kinda see how how you are aligned compared to the rest of the, the background. It's very interesting. Very good design by Nintendo. This has to be the most well-made Mario Kart ever. Little, very few glitches. Graphics look amazing. Music is great. Pretty good track selection. And with a DLC added on top, I mean, they're not missing any track that's ever been made at this point. Every track from every game that anyone ever liked is in this game. Including Mario Kart Tour tracks. That's how deep this game goes. And even though Mario Kart Tour was a gotcha game, still pretty enjoyable to play. Definitely a game I played for a while. Even with friends I played Mario Kart Tour. Just in, in Discord chats or PlayStation Party. Just sitting there with my friends as we play Mario Kart Tour on our phones, having a blast, doing it, talking smack. And then, you know, you have the classics. Mario Kart Wii, in my opinion, is my favorite Mario Kart game of all time. It's just got so much nostalgia for me, and the track selection is my favorite that there's ever been. Um, and the original DS one was the first Mario Kart I ever played. I remember playing it on Christmas Day one year when I got it on the way to my grandparents' house in the car. 
and then there's also, you know, classics. Mario Kart 64 might be the most played Mario Kart game ever by, you know, speedrunners. It's one of the most broken games in Mario Kart's history. It's either that or the Wii, most likely. You got Double Dash, which puts a, an interesting spin on Mario Kart as a whole, which I've never played. But I would love to. I'd love to get a, a, uh, a GameCube and play it. Or, you know, even if there's an emulator version, which there could be. But Mario Kart is such a classic franchise at this point. It's fun to play with your family, it's fun to play with your friends. You can be competitive, you can be casual, you can be a speedrunner. There's so many options for Mario Kart. And all of them are fun. I must say, I need to get better at my jumps. I'm really starting off slow in these. And I... I really need to get a little better. I'm not getting much boosts at all. And I know you can get a lot of boosts. I mean, it's not a problem, necessarily. But... If I can get out to a jump faster than what I have been. That's a, a nice throw back by me. If I can get a, out to a better jump, I shouldn't have much issues at all other than red shells and blue shells. But it's just that beginning. It can be kind of frustrating. Well, I guess you don't have to throw back. Bombs. That was a great throw. What the heck is going on here? I'm still down. So I don't get hit by that. Oh my god. So this is what I'm saying. Like if I get out to a better jump, I'm way ahead. I don't fall back to fourth at the beginning of the race. I'm in a much better position. I mean, I just jumped out to a good lead there. For some reason, I guess everybody just kind of fought each other off for me. Well, two shells. Now, say one shell, one blue shell. Put second place back in position to take the lead for me. I mean, not at this point, at this lead, but... Like, a lightning is terrible. Hurts me greatly compared to everyone else. I think that's the, the end, right? Or do we have one more? Oh, we have one more. Sound like I'm trying to rush things. <laughs> One more. That was better. Still not the maximum that I think I can get. That was better. Of course I got a coin. That's the one gripe I do have about this game is they added coins as an item. It's terrible. Coins should not be items. Let's be real. Anyone who thinks they should doesn't like Mario Kart. I'm gonna make this. Should I have? No. That's what I need there. I had to break there. I saw I was flying right into that front wall. There's moments in 150 where even you have to break. Like on uh, Neo Bowser City. I believe there's 
turns in that one where you have to break because the track is slippery. Which is amazing that they could program that to be so well, well made. But it's also cause for some trickery. Also, this little spot right here. I love this, this spot, how they did the music. You can hear the Shy Guys kind of chanting. That's really cool. Just the little, little things in this game. In there as well. Whenever you drive past the Shy Guys, they kind of are chanting along with the song. It's really cool. It's like the... The normal Mario, Super Mario Bros. games. Right? Like the... The Koopas... Oh boy. Really? See, this is what I meant earlier when I said... Things can get really dicey at the end. You can race... Flawlessly. And it doesn't matter. Okay, I think I might have just sold it. I don't know, I'm taking a bit of line. Someone blows me up. And... Wow. That was dicey. I might not have even gotten a 3 star for that. But there's nothing you can do. The items... Sometimes just... Don't fall in your favor. It's really frustrating. And if this is a 2 star, I'm gonna be... Kind of... Frustrated. Because there's nothing I could have done better. Okay. Thankfully, it was just a three-star. But anyways, um, I think that's all I have for this video. Um, so this is going to be a new series I do. Um, like I said, it should last me... And let's go take a look... ...at how many episodes this will last me. 36 episodes, if all goes well. That's a long series, huh? <laughs> um, I might ramp it up to like three episodes, uh, three cups of an episode, just to kind of make it a little, a little less long of a series. That'll bring it down to what's that? Twenty-four episodes, twenty-five maybe, which is a lot more bearable for both of us. But anyway, uh, that's all I have for this episode. Um, stay tuned for some more interesting stuff coming up soon. Um, not gonna leak exactly what I have planned yet, but I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I know it's not gonna be that interesting when I get to that point, but... Let me just say it's Nintendo related as well, so. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, comment what you thought of this episode. And give me some more ideas for games you'd like to see me play. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.